It is noon in Iowa City. The temperature is 45 degrees. And for KRUI, this is the latest news with Alexandra Boychich and Emily Fisher. Here are today's headlines. The Hawkeyes are going bowling. Live from the Oval Office, Obama vows to destroy ISIS. And what direction will Kim and Kanye take when naming their baby boy? This weekend will go down in Hawkeye history. The Hawkeyes played Michigan State at the Big Ten Championship in Indianapolis, but walked away defeated with a final score of 16-13. to um, Almost 24 hours after the game, the Hawks are smelling the roses. The team secured a spot in the 2016 Rose Bowl. For the first time in 25 years, the Hawkeyes will make the trip to Pasadena, California, facing off against Stanford on New Year's Day. It's a shot of redemption for Iowa football, especially for a team who has battled national skepticism and a 17-year head coach with no trips to, trips to Pasadena under his belt. The Iowa Hawkeyes may have suffered their first loss of the 2015 season, but Iowa Senator Joni Ernst sure didn't think so. Her Twitter account tweeted, quote, Congrats at Iowa Hawkeye football on the big win, end quote. The message went out on the Iowa Republicans account roughly around the time the game ended, but was deleted about 10 minutes later. The account later sent out a tweet apologizing for the staff error and congratulated the Hawkeyes' effort. TV viewers may have gotten an unexpected interruption last night. In an attempt to calm national fears of terrorism, President Obama addressed the nation live from the Oval Office. He said recent attacks in San Bernardino, California, were an act of terrorism. He promised intensified airstrikes against ISIS and called for an expanded coalition of nations. But he did not push for boots on the ground. He further discouraged people from fear, fearing or using hateful speech against Muslims. But many Republicans were unimpressed. GOP presidential frontrunner Donald Trump wasted no time tweeting about Obama's rare primetime speech, writing, quote, is that all there is? Five other Republican presidential candidates condemned any restrictions on gun control this weekend in Cedar Rapids during the Rising Tide Summit. Ted Cruz, who is an obvious crowd favorite, addressed his opposition to gun control, saying, quote, you don't stop the bad guys by taking away your guns. You stop the bad guys by using our guns, end quote. 75 Eastern Iowans are in Des Moines today with one common goal, to delay lawmakers from privatizing Iowa's Medicaid system. The group plans to protest the move by attending a legislative oversight committee meeting today. Governor Terry Branstad has led the effort to allow four out-of-state companies manage the state's Medicaid system with a January 1st deadline. Federal officials will arrive in Iowa tomorrow to start a review. If they find the, start, the state is not ready for changes, they may delay this launch date. Year-round school may become a reality for Iowa City Community Schools. A member of the Iowa City Community School Board said she wants the district to take a closer look at the cost of creating a year-round school that would accept students from across the district. The board will discuss the option during their meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. Former President Jimmy Carter is cancer-free. Addressing a Sunday school mass, the 91-year-old announced that a recent MRI scan showed no signs of cancer. In late August, the 39th U.S. president have revealed that four spots of cancer had spread to his brain, thinking he only had weeks to live. Luckily, his assumptions were wrong. Taylor Swift may have rocked the world with her latest night album, 1989, but 2016 may just be her year. The country star turned pop sensation to earn seven nominations for the 58th annual Grammy Awards, announced earlier today. But Kendrick Lamar received the most nominations, with his name being placed in 11 categories. Nominees for Record of the Year include Blank Space by Swift, Uptown Funk, Thinking Out Loud by the UK's favorite ginger, Ed Sheeran, and Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd. The Grammys will be held on February 15th on CBS. And move over, Princess Charlotte, a new royal baby is in town. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West welcomed a baby son on Saturday, but have yet to share the name. Fans are on the edge of their seats and have taken to Twitter with name ideas. Right now, it looks like the fan favorite is east and west. Finally, a quick look at the weather forecast for Iowa City. Right now, the temperature is 41 degrees. And for KRUI News, I am Emily Fisher. And I'm Alexandra Wojcic. Have a great day, Iowa City.